Hi, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening day 11 through 15 of the Butometry Countdown to Halloween box. So far we've opened days 1 through 10 and we've tested the product so we're going to do the same thing today. Let's take the packages out of the box. And this is what we're going to be working with today. We're starting with day 11 and just like day 1 I can already tell what's inside the bag because of the shape and how it feels. So let's open it up. This is one of my favorite things. We can see cute little dancing skeletons on the bag. And inside we've got a butometry stamping plate. Wow, you guys, this is the gnome stamping plate. And it's a Halloween plate. How cute. Let me take it out of the package. It has their beautiful logo on the back with a plastic protector and it has a blue film over it. So before you can start stamping, you have to peel this off. So we have a layering plate and you can build little gnomes as well as beautiful scenery. I'm going to put the plate down and try to fix the light so that we can see the images a little bit better. You can pause the video here to take a closer look at all the images. Let's remove the protective film and we can see the images a lot better here. For day 12, we have a cute little cat on the sticker and on the bag we have a cute Dracula. I love that he's purple, my favorite color. Looks like we got a polish. Oh wow, what pretty packaging. The brand is Penelope Luz Cosmeticos. I had never heard of this brand before. Oh my gosh. It's an exclusive. Let's see. Wizard Halloween, October 2022. And what country is this polish? Oh, it's made in Brazil. Let's take it out. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. Wow, it's amazing. Without even looking at the polish, you can see the how beautiful the little details. It says that it's 10 free and it's 10 ml. Oh my goodness, look at this shift. I can't wait to try it out. For day 13, we have a black and orange bag with a little cute ghost. It has a jack-o'-lantern and it says trick or treat. Oh my goodness, we've got a stamping plate. This one is from Moyu London and it's from the Jurassic Park collection. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at this, Jurassic Park 03. Okay, let's take it out. Wow, guys, this one has a protective film. That's why it looks like that. This one is clear though. So let's take this off so that it's easier to see. Oh, this one's like a sticker. It's a good idea to press down the plate as you're peeling up the sticker so that it doesn't bend the plate. I thought it was because of the sticker, but these plates look like they're different, like the material is not as shiny. Here's a closer look at the images on this stamping plate. It's called Jurassic Park Collection number 03. I'm not sure if in the excitement I showed you guys the back of the plate, but this is what it looks like. It's really nice. Day 14, we have a black rat and cute little spiders on a green background with spider webs. What do we have here? It's a tool and it looks like it has a wax tip and then a metal tip on the other end. It's so pretty. Wow, look at this. What a nice case. It has little gems in the inside. I'm excited to try it. The last day we're opening today is day 15 and this looks like it's an actual bag. It doesn't look like it's in a bag. This feels like a, a mesh material. Let's open it up. And we've got a little Frankenstein bag. He's so cute. It's one of those little bags that you can, it's like a little book bag. You can just put whatever you want inside and then look how cute. I love it. But looks like there's something inside. Let's see. Oh, we have gems. So we can try our little wax pencil. Wow, these are really pretty and they're really small. I'm excited. Oh, we're going to have so much fun today. Let's get started. I just took off my polish and I was getting ready to apply this new one that we're going to swatch. But I decided that I'm going to file my nails down a little bit because they're kind of long. So I'm going to use my glass nail file from Dr. Dana. Dana. 
I finished filing my nails and I applied a base coat so now we're gonna go ahead and apply this gorgeous polish. Wow, that is beautiful. And this is one coat of the polish. Let's apply a second coat. It's completely opaque in two coats. And now I'm gonna finish off by applying a glossy top coat. I've got my nails painted, but I thought it might be fun to just go ahead and stamp all the images on this uh, Moyu London stamping plate so that we can see what they actually look like. I'm just gonna use a regular nail polish. This one is from Fredericks of Hollywood and it's called Fredericks Red. Oh, it dried on the stamper, so when I tried to put it on the paper, it got ruined. But we'll do that one again because it was a really cool image. All right, I'm going to try it again. Here's a closer look at all the images that I, we've stamped so far. They look really good and the quality is great. Like you can tell it's a really good plate. It's well edged and the images are clear and sharp. Even this one that has really thin lines and it has so many details. Let's keep stamping. Same thing happened with this one. Part of the image dried on the stamper so it didn't transfer completely. We'll do it over. And the reason why that happens is because I take too long trying to clean off any excess from the stamper and that's why, but the image itself is great. There's nothing wrong with the plate or anything like that. I'm gonna try to get all of these three at once, see if that works. Wow, that's amazing. Now we're gonna do the last two images. And here are all the images on this beautiful plate. You can see all the details and they're beautiful images. Look at the details here, the little nails on the claws. It's so cool. I really like this image too. It's really pretty. And this is probably one of my favorites. So we already know that this plate is amazing. It works really well and the images are really cool. And for our design today, I wanted to actually use the Butometry Gnome stamping plate because it has really cool Halloween designs here. And I wanted to try these larger images to see how they look. We could probably stamp these on the paper just to see them and then create a design on our nails. And we'll just use the same paper and the same polish. So I took too much of the polish off the image, so that's why it looks like that. I have to be more careful when I'm scraping. And these images are really, really large, so if you have super long nails, you're gonna have a lot to work with here. I still didn't scrape properly, but I just wanna pick up the image to see what it looks like. Wow, look at that, guys. That is amazing. Let's try this one. I'm just not going to fill it up all the way to the top. That's cool. Oh, I didn't scrape enough on this one. So there's still some polish left in areas that is supposed to be free of polish. Let's try that one again. This is a tricky one because you want to scrape enough from the top so that you can see all the details. But then when you get to the bottom half of the image where this is supposed to be full of polish, you have to use a gentler touch so that it doesn't take out so much of the polish. So I'm going to have to practice working on this image to get it perfect. To stamp on my nails, I'm actually going to use a regular polish. This one is from Funky Fingers and it's called Gesso. It's from Five Below. I'm going to do it again because there's parts of the image that it dried on the stamper so it didn't get filled with polish here. So I'm going to stamp it one more time. That's not too bad for a double stamping. I'm going to use this skeleton over here. That's cool. I want to use one of the little bats too. And I'll use a spider here. I want to try to use this tree on my thumbnail just to try it out. And I'll put another bat up here too. I'll fill in the missing part using my nail art brush liner. 
We seal in the design with a glossy top coat and now it's time to add a little bit of sparkle. We're going to use these little gems and the little tool that comes with it so that we can test it out. Normally if you're going to wear a manicure for a long time and you want the little gems to last, you want to use maybe some type of nail glue so that they really stick on there. But I'm just going to use a regular clear top coat to stick mine on because I'm not going to be wearing this design for long. Let's see how well this tool works. Look at that, it's perfect. These are really tiny and I was able to pick it up without any issues. I'm going to apply a little bit of the clear polish where I want the little gem to go. Can't decide where I want it, if I want it on the ground or if I want it on the tree. Let's put it on the tree. That'll be different. Just a tiny little bit and then we can apply the little gem. Wow, look at that. How cute. I love it. I think I'm going to add another one because it looks cool. It's like a little Halloween tree. Put one up here. This works really well. Oh, that looks cool. And this is our finished design. I think it turned out pretty cool. The little gems add a little touch, just a little touch of color, and it's perfect. I really like it. And the best thing about this design is the fact that you can still see the base polish, which is magical just on its own. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the items that I unboxed today for days 11 through 15. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and share a comment. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.